Do you want your arms to be so vascular that when you walk down the street in a t-shirt, babies will cry, women will vomit, turn away and scream at how vascular you are. Your arms will be so vascular that it will look like they've been surgically removed and replaced with hall sticks. If you want arms like that, then you probably have to surgically remove them and get hall sticks instead of arms. But I can give you some tips on how to get more vascular arms. Arms are obviously the coolest part to have veins on. You want your arms to resemble two giant erect fucking throbbing vascular penises. You might not be genetically gifted with two massive throbbing erect penises as arms in terms of vascularity, but if you're not, do not worry. There are some things that we can do in order to improve our vascularity, make our physique look more veiny and disgusting and like there's fucking snakes crawling under our skin. The main reason we want veins right is just so we can take a picture on a plane of our arm when it's like fucking pumped and put the caption snakes on a plane. Like that's literally it. Short term things that make you more vascular. The most obvious one is heat. In the winter when it's cold, your veins are going to sink down into your skin. You've got like these little bands of muscle surrounding your blood vessels called sphincters. And when it's cold, they contract and they basically stop blood flow from going to the surface of your skin. So that means your blood vessels are deeper in your skin, they're closer to the, your core, you don't get as much blood to your extremities, and you're going to stay warmer. Vice versa, if it's warm, your blood vessels are going to dilate. You're going to get more blood closer to the skin in order to cool you off. And that is going to make you look more vascular. If you're training in a cold gym, my advice is to start training your hoodie. Start off in a hoodie get like a sweat on in the hoodie, get like real warm, then when you can't have the hoodie on any longer, take it off and you'll be fucking vascular. So if you live in a hot climate, this isn't really gonna apply to you, but um, heat is number one. Number two is shave your arms. Before every single photo shoot that I go on, I always shave my arms. Every fitness model, if they have any kind of arm hair, they will shave before a photo shoot. Honestly guys, like, if you haven't tried it, just try it once. It makes your arms look so much more vascular and so much more shredded. Like, top tip, if you wanna shave your arms, don't you don't wet shave them with a razor. Get like a beard trimmer or some clippers and just like do them like that. And honestly, like bam, you instantly got like 50% more vascularity, like out of nowhere. Number three is carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are a source of energy for your body. When you eat carbohydrates, your body wants to store that energy to use later. So it's gonna convert the carbohydrates into something called glycogen. In order to convert the carbohydrates into glycogen, that reaction requires water. So your body is gonna need to get water from somewhere and basically what it does, when you have carbs and you're storing glycogen in your liver and muscles, muscles are gonna be more relevant, your body is gonna pull in water from your skin into your muscles and one, make your muscles look bigger and fuller because they have that water and glycogen in and two, it's gonna make your skin appear thinner and drier. It's why bodybuilders eat loads of carbs before they go on stage. It sucks out the water from your skin and into your muscles and in turn, that is gonna make you look veiny and honestly, like the results you can get from manipulating carbohydrates alone is crazy but that doesn't mean that if you're on like a mad bog eating like loads of carbohydrates every single day you're going to be vascular all the time because the opposite can happen you, you can get very like watery and bloated and puffy looking when if you have too many carbohydrates too much okay number four short-term thing that you can do is pump products products that give you a pump one minute wait there I like to use EHP's PSI, which is a vasodilator, which basically means it's got stuff in that makes your veins expand and get bigger. So the main ingredient in that is something called citrulline malate. Citrulline malate is involved in something called the nitric oxide cycle. Nitric oxide, as you guys may or may not know, causes vasodilation. So veins to like dilate and get bigger, and that's in turn gonna make you look more pumped. So I like using this, can you straight citrulline malate, but it tastes like absolute ass. It That is all the short-term things that we can do immediately. If you're going on a date in like 20 minutes and she's like, oh my God, fucking vascular guys turn me on so much. What you want to do is get really fucking hot, bomb a load of carbs, smash a load of EHP, PSI, and uh, shave your arms. And then you're good to go for your date. So here are the longer term things that we can do in terms of getting more vascular. Number one is body fat percentage. If you're a fat cunt, you are not going to be very vascular. So my arms are only so vascular because I have very little body fat on my arms. So you're gonna wanna diet, obviously go into, the, I could do a whole series on dieting and stuff like that. Because of the way I distribute fat, I look very, very shredded on my arms. And that's the good thing about being vascular, guys. You can trick people into thinking you're not fat as fuck. Well, I'm fat as fuck, but because my arms are vascular, I look shredded. Next thing we can do long-term is get bigger. Grow bigger muscles. By getting bigger muscles, the skin's gonna be stretched more over the muscles, which is gonna make it appear thinner, which is gonna make the veins show more. Uh, the muscles being under the skin and larger as well is gonna push the veins more firmly up. I don't know if you can see, because the light's a bit shit. My veins like pop like fuck on this part of the arm where the muscle's contracting. But if we look here, 
they still look fucking great. They don't look quite as good. So by getting bigger muscles, you're basically going to stretch your skin more, veins are going to become more visible, and yeah, muscle maturity. That's what it's called. Muscle maturity is very important, and you can only get that through training, like for long periods of time. So I've been training for 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. I've been training for like six years now, six to seven years, seven years of shit training, probably like five to six years of proper head down dieting. It's only in the last few years of training, so only after like four or five years of proper training that I'm like, holy shit, like I'm a pretty vascular kind of guy. So yeah, that is pretty much everything you can do if you wanna make your arms and the rest of your body look like dicks. Like the most important one is honestly guys, body fat and muscle size. Like on a contest prep, especially for other parts of your body, like my chest for example, isn't really veiny. Some people genetically have very veiny chests. I would have to do like a crazy diet to get a vascular chest. So body fat, I'm gonna be dieting for like 12 to 16 weeks in a few months as I'm doing a show. Body fat is gonna go down. But the main thing is, is just to keep at it, you know? The long term ones are gonna have the best results and the most results. The short term stuff, it's quick to make yourself more vascular, but it's only gonna be temporary as well. That is my top tips on getting veiny. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like, give it a share. Give me a comment, preferably something hilarious. And yeah, if you like these types of videos, let me know what you want to see next. I'm only doing this one because you guys requested it on my Instagram. And uh, peace out. I love you to bits. I'm going to eat a pizza and train and get a mad pump.